I've got big news for the human brain organoids, you know, the tiny human brains we grow from stem cells and can run biocomputation on. If you thought this field was moving fast already, well, buckle up, it's about to get a lot faster. Welcome to biocomputation, something that some researchers like to call cellular supremacy. Final Spark, a Swiss company, shocked the world when they offered the tiny human brains as a computation model that you can pay for. The hope is that these little guys can do something that silicone never could, not just parroting back human logic, but creating logic, putting things together in new ways, living and growing. 34 different universities asked Final Spark for access to their materials and methods so that we can learn more about the brain organoids, and they awarded that right to eight different universities. The computation model works by attaching eight electrodes to each individual brain organoid with 16 to a chip. They then exchange electrical signals so they can tell the brain organoid what to do and and they can receive what it does. And they're reinforced with dopamine and you can watch them if you really want to. But let's talk about the research. Each of the eight universities is going to focus on a different task around the brain organoids. The University of Michigan, for example, is creating a map of the chemical and electrical prompts that can get the brain organoid to do task shifting. In essence, creating a computer language specific to them. Researchers at Lancaster University Leipzig in Germany are focusing on tasks that these guys do better. They're better at creative learning, for example, and they're going to test them in different areas to figure out what they're best at and how they can be applied. Other universities are working on the manufacturing process. There's no standard process to make them. And while some labs, like Allison Motries in UC San Diego, have figured out ways to keep them alive for 10 or more months, right now, for the average researcher, it's about 100 days. Final Spark's facility is currently housing 3,000 of them, but they want to make them more quickly and hold more. But don't worry, the field of biological computing goes much farther than just the use of human brains. Join me next time and I'll tell you about it.